I, I would have expected um, just because civil disobedience and music to me have always sort of gone together that that outspokenness that willing to to swim against the stream i would have expected more musicians for both philosophical reasons and very practical reasons uh, mm -hmm. the fact that lockdowns fundamentally destroy your ability to earn a living um, you've actually found an interesting way to sort of hack around the system on, on stuff like that <laughs> that i want to that i want to get into but i can count um, the musicians um, mm -hmm. Van Morrison, um, Eric Clapton, and I think Willie Nelson. Uh, there was this Wall Street Journal piece about a week or two ago where he said he's just pissed. And one thing that's interesting about those three musicians is that time is very precious for them. They they love to tour. They love to play music live. And if you take away a year of performing from Willie Nelson's life, I can imagine that that's the most precious thing you could steal from him. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, other than those guys, I can't think of anyone else that's that's uh, besides you that's actually been willing to sort of say, this is outrageous and this this mm -hmm. only doesn't have economic consequences, but I feel like it has like emotional health consequences that that you've talked about, but so few people have like, Music is therapy. Like there's a reason people yeah. go to live shows. There's something about that 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 that's re-energizing and and humanizing gathering with people. And they just took it away. Yep. Um, yeah. I mean, man, there's there's a lot to say there. The truth is that you know I've spoken to musicians privately, and the truth is in music and entertainment in general, there are way more people who are who think more similar to me than people imagine. They just are cowed, right? They're cowed. Um, it's not the fact that, oh, like we're the only people who are opposed to this thing. Almost every musician I know here in the UK opposes the lockdown. They just do it. They just don't do so publicly, right? Um, music is, man, it, it's, it's, it's hilarious that people think it's this sort of like rebellious thing where people are uh, entertainers or let's say entertainment, academia, and maybe tech are like the three most group think sectors out there, man. Like how does every Hollywood celebrity have the same view on everything, right? Is Do you, do you really think that they do? Or is it more like, okay, you have to toe this line. These are the approved views. If you, if you don't toe the line, you know what, something bad's gonna happen to you, Gina Carano, right? Like we, that's the situation. It's the same in music. Music is totally subject to group think. Like if you're a rapper, if you're an American rapper, okay. Which American rappers are open Republicans? Can't think of one. Okay. Do you really believe that none of them are Republican? Of course not. Tons of them do, right? <laughs> These yeah. people are entrepreneurs. They're capitalists. They want lower taxes. They want gun rights. They want freedom of speech rights. So plenty of them are hold, hold Republican values. And I know for a fact some of them vote Republican, right? But you're only allowed to say you're a Democrat. Here in the UK... Um, if you're a musician, it's just assumed that you opposed Brexit. It's assumed that you vote for labor, et cetera. It's, it's homogeneity. It's groupthink. You know, in these places where they're talking about diversity, tolerance, inclusion, these are the places with the least diversity, least tolerance to opposing viewpoints. Um, and they're extremely exclusive in many ways. And I'm, I'm blessed to be someone, maybe it's just my personality type and I guess some of my experiences, which is that. I really don't care about fitting in with a crowd. I just don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to do something or say something just because a lot of people are doing it or saying it. That's just how I am. And I've been like that for a while. And, um, but most people are just not like that. You know, most people will go with the herd. They'll, they'll blow with the wind. They'll do what is trendy. They'll do what's popular. 